Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Autumn. If you are returning, thank you so much for returning. Um, today, we are going to talk about the new Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. Now, this palette released on the 3rd. I ordered it on the 3rd and I got it on the 5th. Today is the 9th when I'm reviewing it, so I had worked during the week and whatever else, but yes, so this palette retails for $67 and there are 18 shades in the palette. There's a mixture of metallics, shimmers, gel liners, and hybrid textures. Um, and there are all of those in there. So another cool thing about this palette is if you have your phone, if you pick up this palette and you scan it right here, there's like an embedded QR code in the packaging. It brings up like a link and what it is is super cool so pick up this palette because that's just an extra you know something who to throw in there um <laughs> i will say you guys i'm smiling i am so excited because this palette is just <sighs> stunning Stunning to say the least. I think everything about this palette, the message behind the palette, the way the palette is curated, the packaging, the price is just perfect. So I'm going to tell you what the palette stands for and then we'll get into these two looks that I have on my eyes. So Huda Beauty says empowered is having the knowledge, confidence, means or ability to do things or make decisions for oneself. Know your worth and always be your number one fan with the Empowered Eyeshadow Palette inspired by your right to thrive as your best self. Look, feel, and be empowered within a universe abundant in golds, coppers, browns, and neutrals expressed in matte gel liner hybrid, wet look shimmers, and foiled chrome metallic textures. Big dreams, manifest it, bold moves, do it, power, get it. So this palette just stands for really believing in yourself and I feel like Huda has been on like a self realization journey you know and just owning who she is and I feel like a lot of us have been on that journey lately and I'm here for it so if you guys want to know more about this palette see how it applies see why I am so excited I mean honestly you guys could pause the video and go buy the palette right now and follow along with my looks that's how I'm feeling <laughs> but yes you guys please stay tuned and keep on watching also if you like my content please like comment and subscribe let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see I have content coming I'm doing my best to stay consistent but yeah let's get into these looks and just the palette overall so I'm going to be doing one look on each eye, so probably like a cooler or more neutral tone look on this eye and then a warmer tone on this eye. I'm a little crazy when I buy brushes, I buy like multiple, so I have the exact same brushes and I'm going to be using them on different eyes. These four I just opened up, they were in like my backup stash <laughs> and these four are clean, I just cleaned them. So let's get right into it so i'm gonna start with my morphe e23 i don't think morphe makes the e-line anymore but it's just a fluffy blending brush and i'm gonna use the shade big dreams right here to start i do not have primer on my eyes i'm not a big eye primer person anymore so we'll see how they perform without eye primer i'm just gonna stamp this that is pigmented do you guys see huda did not come to play you guys i think this is already like my favorite palette so in the rose metals remember how i said like i love like a mobbier gray type of shade so, like it's gray but it has a little bit of warmth that is this big dream shade and it is blending out gorgeous with no primer nothing is on my eyelids 
No fallout. Okay. That is super pretty. So next, I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going into, hmm. I'm gonna go into Best Self right here. It's like a warmer, light, peachy shade. And I'm gonna place that through my crease the same way. Okay. These are so pigmented, you guys. Insanely pigmented. These are so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Best Self and I'm just going to blend a little bit more. They blend out beautifully, you guys. Okay, I'm already like shook. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna take the same brush and no. Okay, so next, I'm going to go in with my Morphe E28. It's still a blender brush, but it's a little bit more pointed. And I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Rebel, which is more like a neutral toned mauve shade. And I'm going to stamp that in my crease, but not as blown out as the Big Dream shade. You guys, Huda really did something with this. Really did something with this. Okay, so that is Big Dreams in Rebel. Now on the other side, I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm going to go into Keep Going, which is this brown shade right here. And I'm gonna place it the same way in my crease and outer V area, just not as blown out, just really in like my eye socket, my orbital bone area. And this just gives depth without going too deep. These are blending like butter. I'm not kidding. Okay. <laughs> so here is best self and keep going on this side. So next to just go with, you know, the vampier type of tones I'm gonna go in with winter which is this gray shade on this side and if you guys watched my Anastasia Rose Metals palette you know I'm not a huge fan of grays but we're just gonna do it I'm taking a Morphe M456 so it's just really like a very small detailer flat brush and I'm gonna place this in my outer you guys, this is so pigmented. I'm not even... I'm dramatic, but like, yeah. Shut up. I'm taking this a little bit through my crease. Okay, this is stunning. I'm gonna build up that winter shade a little bit more and just stamp it here on my outer V because I blew it out some. And then I'm gonna blend the edges with the same brush. So this is where I'm at. This is Rebel Big Dreams and Winter. And then on this side, I'm going to take the same type of brush. This is a Morphe M434. This is a 456, but they're literally like the same type of brush. 
and I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with legacy which is this shade here it's like a burnt orange terracotta shade look how pigmented this is can you guys see that insane okay There's a lot more brown in this shadow, and I love that. In the pan, it looks very orange, but on the eye, it's a little bit more brown. You guys, Huda, she'll probably never watch this, but... I gotta give her her credit because this and they're just blending you guys just blending gorgeous okay so here is best self keep going and legacy and here is big dreams rebel and winner just the names too you feel me like <sighs> okay so next I'm gonna take the same brush on this side that I used with winter and I'm gonna go in with I might actually use the same shade to deepen because these yeah these two shades these two really deep shades are creams so i just want to stick to the powders right now i could have used those as a base but i didn't <laughs> so i'm going to go in with confident right here and i'm just going to deepen my outer v a little bit more so pretty it's not patchy at all i hope you guys could see that So freaking pretty. I have a feeling this is one of those shades. It's neutral enough that it can work on cool, cooler tone eyes or warmer tone eyes. But it's stunning. Okay. So that is the shade Confident blended out onto my outer corner. And again, I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to take confident again on this side. And I'm just really stamping it on my outer corner. Take a little bit more. And then I'm going to blend it through. Yeah. So this shade is neutral enough that I could wear it in warm or cool tone eye looks. I didn't really think to use the cream products, but I probably should have. That would have been pretty. Just to see how they acted as a base since I had no base on. But you guys also get to see how they blend with no primer on. Huda, please, be for real. <laughs> be for real. You guys, this palette is making my heart happy. This palette is just doing everything for me. So... I'm trying to figure out where I want to go from here because these shimmers like look at this gold and then this shade has like that cream in it hmm so I really want to try this 
manifest it shade right here it has like can you guys see like a cream throughout the center and then shadow so I'm gonna use my finger I'm not a finger person but I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna rub into that shade okay so it makes it like a cream shadow and I'm going to hmm <laughs> I'm going to place that on I'm gonna place that on the warm side okay so it is sticky but it is giving me pigment huh I think that's neat so here is that manifested shade and I like it you guys I have no complaints so next I'm gonna go in with this visionary shade it's this marble shade and I'm gonna to make it fair I'm gonna use my finger again and we're just gonna see these are so creamy you guys look at this shade please okay please it is like a perfect rose gold, but has like a hint of purple. I just, Huda, please, okay? Can you guys see me applying it? Now, I really, so I really want to use this Charisma shade. It is like a yellow, yeah, like think of Trophy Wife by Fenty with a stronger gold in an eyeshadow. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna take Charisma. I'm gonna try it on a brush since we haven't used a brush on the on the shimmer shades. I'm gonna take Charisma on this eye on the inner corner. Okay, so the shade is quite glittery and with a brush, it's getting kind of crumbly. Can you guys see? And this is what it looks like on, on the brush. So it's crumbly. But we're gonna try it with a brush first, okay? Oh. So it's going on, but it is going on fairly chunky. What I'm gonna do, since we already used a finger, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pick up some more of the shade. And I'm gonna wet it. I'm gonna spray it with some of this pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist. I'm gonna spray it one more time. I'm gonna do three sprays. And I'm going to try it that way. So let's see. Okay. That made a difference for sure. I think this shade is meant to be fairly crumbly. But. Do you guys see it? Stunning. Stunning. I'm gonna again I'm not a finger girl but we're gonna check okay these <laughs> I know I'm dramatic but I promise you it feels like a cream and they are so reflective stop it Okay, that, Huda, I 
I'm about to buy this for my sister for Christmas. I'm not Brit. You're getting this palette for Christmas, okay? You guys, shut up. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the manifested shade and just blend between those two. <sighs> so this is the warm eye. I'm just blending the edges a little bit. I don't have any more product on the brush. But when I tell you When I tell you, I literally have over a hundred eyeshadow palettes. And Huda did something with this one. Let's finish this eye, okay? So, next, I really want to use this Bold Move shade. I don't know why, but I really do. So... We're going to go in with it. Okay, so I have my brush. We're going to use a brush like the other side. We're going to start with the brush and go in with bold moves. This one is crumbly, just like the Charisma shade. Picks up the same way on the brush, but I want to show you guys without wetting it or anything first. It's going on, but it is kind of crumbly. But it's stunning. I did get some fallout with that shade. Okay. So again, I'm going to wet my brush with the Bold Move shade. This is how it looks on the brush um, without wetting it. So it's fairly crumbly. But I'm going to use two sprays on that one. Stunning, you guys. Stunning. So I'm going to take my finger. These shimmers feel like creams. I'm going to take my finger. And I am going to press it. You guys. When I tell you, Huda might have just came out with the palette of the year. I'm not kidding. Stunning. So, I'm going to make a little change. So, I'm going to take this Courageous shade right here. And it's like a duochrome. And I'm going to pat that on um, right after the Bold Move shade. I don't know how that's going to look. But we're going to see. Gorgeous. And that shade has a shift. On my finger you can see. It's like a gold, green, purple shift. Because I went in with another shade on this one. I'm going to do it on this one. So I'm going to go in with. <sighs> I'm going to go in with do it which is this rose gold shade here i was gonna go in with limitless but i think it might be a little too close to charisma to create that like depth like i have on this side so we're gonna go in with do it on my finger like i did courageous this one's a little bit more chunky but okay because <sighs> you guys The damn pigment in. Okay, so here are the two looks I created.
and I know I came with all the dramatics, but I promise you guys, I have not had this reaction to an eye palette probably since my first Pat McGrath palette, you guys. Like, no BS. Please. I'm going to finish my makeup and then I'm going to hop back on and just get to the end of it okay because i'm literally like inside i'm like <laughs> but let me go finish my makeup i'll be right back you guys this palette is nothing to play with so i know a lot of people compared this palette to natasha denona's my dream palette and let me open them up for you guys so you guys can see. I went ham on this on this empowered palette. I just opened it like <laughs> So here's what they look like. And honestly, I can see how people say they're similar. They both have a duochrome, they both have some warm shades, they both have some neutral shades, they both have like some pinkier type shimmers. Now I'm a huge fan of Natasha Denona. I'm not, like I own my dream gold, Metropolis, Sunrise, Sunset, Biba, Bronze, Glam. I think that's I own I own <laughs> I own most of her her palettes. I'm a huge fan of Natasha Denona. But if you're trying to decide between that one and this one, get this one. I have both of them and I'm keeping both of them. But you guys, this Huda might have just made my favorite palette of the year, and I'm not kidding. I just Everything about this palette is stunning. I have no complaints whatsoever. No critiques, no complaints, just... I am 10 out of 10 impressed with this palette, you guys. I am almost at a loss for words of how much I love this palette. If this palette was limited edition, I would go buy another one today that's how serious i am if this palette was limited edition i would go buy another one today i just everything about it the color story the quality when i looked in the mirror to go put on my lip and just like finish my face i thought that i was gonna have hella fallout no it, it wasn't there i <laughs> The story behind this palette, just everything, Huda, 100%, I'm saying it now, it's already October, so what we have November, December, Huda just made the palette of the year, you guys, like, bar none, this palette is absolutely amazing. And I am so happy. I have not been this happy about an eyeshadow palette in forever. These are the type of products that literally like show me why I love makeup so much. <laughs> but I'm going to stop rambling about it. Please, if you don't pick up anything else in all these like holiday releases, Please pick up this palette. I uh, please pick up this palette. That's really all I have to say about it. I think it is absolutely stunning. I think that if you pick it up, you will not be disappointed. It's really not too expensive. <sighs> and I have no complaints. I have no critiques. I think it's absolutely stunning. Let me know what you guys think below. Let me know if you picked it up and what you guys think below because I I feel like I'm rambling because I'm excited. When I get excited, I start rambling. So 
I'm gonna just leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the looks. I know I said I wasn't gonna use hella shades and I did, but let me know what you guys think. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. God bless you. Bye.